Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about derivation trees or parse tree. Derivation tree or parse trees are used to show derivations of strings of terminals from star symbol S. Let's suppose there is a grammar G. G equals to VTPS. V is the set of variables and T is the set of terminals. P is the set of production rules and S is a start symbol. Then a derivation tree is a tree whose root is labeled by S. Interior nodes are labeled by variables and leaf nodes are labeled by terminals or empties right they are either labeled by uh, leaves are either labeled by terminals or this symbol empty so if uh, any node in tree is labeled by a and its children are labeled from left to right by x1 x2 x3 up to xn then a derives x1 x2 up to xn must be a production in p now suppose there is a grammar whose production rules are these one as derives asb or as derives ab now there is a string a a a b b b right now it is the derivation of this string by using these production rules so first what we have done we have replaced s by asp it means we have used this production rule as derives asp then again we have replaced this as by a s p it means we have applied the production rule as derives a s p now this s is replaced by a b here we have used the production rule as derives a b right so what we have got a a a b b b so this is the derivation of uh, this string of terminals from a start symbol s as uh, i have already told that derivation trees or parse trees are used to show derivation of a strings of terminals from a start symbol s so this derivation can be represented by a derivation tree or a parse tree root must be labeled by s right and interior nodes must be labeled by variables and leaf nodes should be labeled by terminals or empty string And one more thing, if there is a node which is labeled by A and its children are labeled from left to right, x1, x2 up to xn, then there should be a production in P that is A derives x1, x2 up to xn. So here we have labeled the root by S, right? leaves are labeled by terminals and interior nodes are labeled by variables now see this node s its children are a s p from left to right it means there is a production rule s derives a s p in p right P means set of production rules right so if uh, there is a node s and its children 
r from left to right r a as b then there must be a production rule as derives a as b now how we can represent this derivation by derivation tree first of all make a root node s right here we have applied the production rule as derives a as b right so the children of s must be a as b from left to right now again here we have replaced s by a as b it means we have applied the production rule as derives a as b so again the children of s must be a as b because here we have applied this production rule as derives a as b right now after this we have applied the production rule as derives a b right so the children of this s must be a b from left to right right so this is the derivation tree or pass tree which represents this derivation now now a string of terminals whose derivation is represented by the derivation tree is obtained by reading the leaves from left to right omitting any empty string right so this derivation tree represents the derivation of a a a b b b now a subtree right a subtree of a derivation tree suppose this is a some derivation tree right this one now a subtree of a derivation tree is a tree whose root is some particular node of the derivation tree along with all its descendant edges connecting them and their labels right suppose this is the given derivation tree right now this is a node in this derivation tree so this node along with all its descendants edges connecting them and their labels forms a subtree right if the root of subtree is labeled by variable a then this is called an a tree here this is the subtree right its root is labeled by b so it is called p tree a derivation tree is also called s tree where s is the start symbol thank you very much